So this is the second video tutorial in which we're going to be plotting some data using GG Maps. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to pull in a map from Google Maps and then we're going to plot some data on it. If you haven't already watched the previous video, so the part one of this, this will cover a lot about um, bringing in the maps from Google Maps, which I'll just briefly recap. If you haven't watched that video, you're probably better off watching that one first. And also you'll need to register your Google keys and that's covered in another video as well and there, um, I've linked them all below this one so you can get easy access to them it's just that you need your API key from Google to be able to pull in maps but as I say there's a video which will show you how to do that so the package we need are the same as the packages we need in the previous video we have the RStudio API package and the GG map package if you haven't installed them you'll need to do that and if you have you just need to pull them both out of your library and then you need to register your Google key. I'm not going to show you my Google key here because um, it will end up costing me if everyone starts to use my Google key. But as I say, you can use my video and that's um, linked below and I'll show you how to get that API key. So the data we're going to use is the same as we used in the previous example. We've got the map of crimes from Merseyside. So you'll obviously have to change it's where you've got on your computer and it's just a CSV file so we don't need any packages to pull that in um, and as you can see it's just the same data as last time what really matters here we've got longitude and latitude so the location of each crime and then we've got all the different types of crime here and what we're going to do is we're going to subset the map and we're just going to keep bicycle theft and we're just going to call that subset so that's going to be the data we're going to look at so now you can see We've got longitude and latitude and everything's bicycle theft. So that's the data we're going to analyze. So in the previous video, I just put a dot on the map for every single bike that had been stolen during the three year period um, that this data covers. Now we could look at this data another way. It's, it's all very well putting the dots in like that. But what we could do instead, color code a map according to the density of bicycle theft so we can have certain colors for high levels of theft and then we can make the colors go lighter and lighter as the thefts get lower this will allow us to really clearly see bicycle theft hotspots so the first thing we need to do of course is pull in our google map and again it's going to be the same google map i used in the previous example so we just go gg map we say get google map and the center of the map, that's the longitude and latitude. And that's a pretty, pretty good central point for the Merseyside area. As I say, in the previous example, it's very easy to find longitudes and latitudes for any place that you want. It's just a matter of Googling it quickly and you'll always be able to find a decent enough longitude and latitude. You might have to adjust them a bit to get the map just as you like. I'm going to zoom in 10 times um, so we can see the area quite clearly and the map type we're going to use is a terrain map and this is your standard map that you'll be familiar with and we'll have the map in color so far it's just to run this now let's have a look so i just pull this map in so that's our map but now we want to plot over the map we need to put our bike theft information over the top of the map to do this, what we're going to use is this command stat density 2D. So, what we need to do is we have our aesthetics in there, and what we're going to plot is just like last time, we just need to plot our, our longitude and latitude. So, we have x equals longitude and y equals latitude. Then we type fill equals dot dot level and then dot dot again. So this is basically going to fill it with like the frequency of crimes within different areas. And then we need to use this command. We type alpha equals, I'm going to use it as point 0.1. This is how see-through your map essentially is. Um, so if you have it as one, you won't be able to see through it at all. So you're going to plot something on 
over your map that won't be see-through, so you won't be able to see anything behind the data you plotted. But if we reduce the alpha, we'll be able to see through the map, see some information on the map. Now the next thing is really important, it's bins. This is the amount of different colours that you're going to have on the map. So if you have a few bins, it's going to put people into high crime, medium crime, low crime. The more bins you have, the more detail there is on the map. And I'll show you what it, how this changes things. So we'll just do it for 10 bins. And then we just need to say data equals, and we're looking at subset. And we also do need to say to your equals, and we're going to be putting on polygons on the map. And that's essentially it. So let's run this now. And we're just going to use default colors. I'll have to change the colors in a moment, but this is going to produce our bike one map. So let's run this. And let's see what happens. Now, here's our map. And as you can see, if I to zoom in on this, it's very, very see through at the moment. And you can't really work out what's going on very well. So let's change it to 0.4. And a lot of the time when you're doing this, you'll see you'll have to mess around a little bit so you can get things just as you want them. Let's have a look at point four. So now you can see the levels of bike crime a bit more clearly where it's very dense. You can never read over it. But now you can see the levels of bike crime. So the lighter blue is the highest level and the darker color is the lower level. So you can see the hotspot is right in the city centre. There's things in Birkenhead and then... The town of Southport as well has some bicycle theft as well. Now, of course, if we adjust the number of bins, we get a little bit more nuance in a way. So let's just try that. So this is 50 bins now. Now you can see there's a lot more information. It's capturing a lot more. And you can see, so the um, town of West Kirby has got some relatively low level but it is getting picked up you can see St Helens has some crime as well there's a um, in speak as well but you can see that there's a lot of density down in Liverpool city centre so let's just change that a little bit let's see what it looks like if we make it a little bit more see-through so that's a little bit more see-through now so you can see where the crime is at its heaviest on this map as you can see, it's relatively straightforward to produce this. Now, you'll you'll note that this is, says level. So that's just the label for this here. So to change that, I can just add this bit of code. I'll add plus, and then labs, fill equals bike theft. So where I've said fill is level here, so that's why it's read it as level, because it's doing the levels of crime. I'm just putting bike theft in instead. So we can run that. And then you'll see, all it's going to do is just change that label, bike theft. So now it's really clear what that map shows. This is the default colouring on the map. You may not be happy with that. You may want a different type of colouring. Well, there's lots of different ways and lots of different colours that you can get. What I'm going to do is just show you one now. So I'm just going to copy that over. So let's do another map. And we're going to call it bike 2. So it's all going to be the same. But I'm going to add... Scale fill this C and I'm gonna write option equals and I'm gonna say plasma. So yeah you can you can look up if you just if you just search these things it'll, it'll, it'll explain all the different options and so on. But I'm gonna use the plasma option because I quite like it. And let's run that one. There we go, you can see our levels of bike theft there. So there's a plasma using plasma, looks um, a little bit better, I think. It's what people expect to see this type of thing. So there you go, you can see the bike crimes, and let's just zoom into that map so you can spot the key areas going into North Liverpool, South Liverpool is not as bad. Or Lake and West Cape some issues, South Port has issues, and then through Heighton, St. Helens, and so on. But the city centre, which would be expected anywhere because it's more densely populated, you see the highest levels of bike theft.
there now you'll just you'll remember as well from the last example we did is that you may want to remove all these things all these ticks and labels and so on so let's just do a final one in which we're going to say we're going to call this one bike three so we're going to copy all that so it's the same map as before i'm just going to need an up so we just need to add these commands which is theme so it's the axis test blank for x and y ticks removed and the titles removed as well so that's going to give us our cleaned up map and there we go here's our bike theft which has all been plotted so that's a um, quick tutorial showing you how you can overlay data onto maps in this style with our polygons as opposed to plotting individual things so that's just a quick run through of how to do that as i say there's two previous tutorials one just about getting your api key and another one of plotting individual data points if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel and there'll be some more coming up i'm going to show you how you can make these into animated maps as well so we can look at changes over time in our bike theft data and code as ever is linked below the video